hello and welcome i am raghav and today we are going to learn how to handle alert or pop-up boxes in catalon studio and this is going to be very easy and very interesting and i will go step by step and show you how to handle different types of alert or pop-up boxes so let's get started and before we start creating our test case i will search for javascript alert pop-up because most of the alert or pop-up boxes are implemented with javascript and here we have a page for w3 schools i will go here and it will open this website for w3 schools and you can see we have this different alert boxes i will also copy this url and make it available in the notes so that you can refer it and all these notes will be available to you so let me just add it here and yes so here we have a simple alert box if you go here and go to try it yourself you will go here and click on try it button and you can see this is a very simple alert box with a ok button and if you press ok it will be accepted it will accept the alert and then we have a confirm box which can have two buttons like ok and cancel if you click on try it yourself it will go it will take you to this web page you can press try it and you can see here we have two buttons ok and cancel and if i press cancel it says you pressed cancel and this then we can have prompt boxes which can also ask you for a user input and if you go to this example and say try it yourself you will go to this web page if i click on try it here you can see we have this prompt box where it takes a user input i will just give some input here and if i press ok it says hello raghav how are you today so these are different kinds of alerts you can handle with catalon studio and i will go to my windows system and go to catalon studio you can follow this on a windows or a mac operating system and this is a new project and i am using catalon studio version 6.1.5 which is latest at the time of recording this video and in the test cases folder i will do a right click new test case and i will name this as alert demo 1 and say ok and i will very quickly record steps so i will go to this record web and I will copy the URL so this is the simple alert box I will copy this URL and give it here in the URL and I will start recording on a Chrome browser so you can see all the steps are getting recorded it says open browser and now I will navigate to the URL and it records navigate to URL and now I will click on this try it button and I will this brings up this alert box and i will now click on ok now you can see here it recorded the click on the try it button but it did not record anything on the alert box or pressing or ok on the alert box so there is some manual editing that we have to do so for now i will just say ok and add this test case so i will add the objects and you can see all the steps are here now if you go to your catalon studio and go to keywords browser here on the left margin and go to built-in keywords web ui keywords we have a section for alert if you go here you can see we have multiple keywords available like accept alert dismiss alert get alert text set alert text verify alert present wait for alert so here we can add keywords like after clicking on the start button i will say add and i will say wait for alert and you can give some time out so let's say i'm giving two seconds and then i can also use some other keywords like verify alert present i can also drag and drop it here so i will drag and drop it here so it again we have to give a time out i will say two seconds here as well so here i'm waiting for alert to be visible and here the timeout is two seconds and then i am also checking the alert is present and once it is present then i will just use the accept alert so uh, we just have to accept the alert nothing else so i will just say this accept alert and finally i will i'm adding a delay of let us say one second so that you can see and then finally we will close the browser so i will save this and run this and let us see the output so this is running on the default firefox browser that is okay let us see the output for this test case so it opens a firefox browser and goes here and it was pretty fast uh, let me try to have some delay so here 
before accept alert i will again add a delay of two seconds this is just i'm adding so that you can see it uh, on the browser while it is playing back and i will have two seconds delay here as well and i will go to my project settings and go to execution and first thing is i will make chrome as my default browser and also if you want you can use this delay between actions and it will slow down your playback but for now i will just keep it as it is and run my test again and this time it should run on a chrome browser so it is running on chrome and yes and you can see it will now accept it and then it is done it will close the browser and everything is fine so this is how you can accept a very simple alert box now the next example is we have to go to this confirm box and here you have to either press ok or cancel so i will again copy this url i'll copy this url and i will create a new test case i will say new test case alert demo 2 so this is alert demo 2 and i will again go to record web and i will give the url here and start recording on a chrome browser and i will navigate to the url and i will click on this try it button and here let us say i will click on cancel and you can see again it could not record anything on the alert or pop-up box so i will stop it and add the test case so here are the steps now after this click on try it we have to add our steps for handling the alert so again i will add here first of all i will add verify alert present so that i can be sure that the alert is present and i will give a timeout of two seconds and then i can just say accept alert or dismiss alert so just to verify it is able to click on cancel i am saying dismiss alert and also i will add a delay here for two seconds and this is just so that you can see it running on the browser and even before dismissing the alert i am going to add a delay of two seconds here so that's it i will save this and run this and let us see the playback this time we should see that it has clicked on the cancel button and yes and you can see you pressed cancel is here so that means it is working fine and we are able to click on the cancel button so this is working fine now the third example is we have to enter something in this alert box and this should be printed out here so for that i will copy this url and i will go to the test cases folder create a new test case and i will say this is alert demo 3 and say ok and again i will do a quick recording i will go to record web and give my url here so let me just check this is the url i will provide it here and start recording on a chrome browser and it is here and now i will click on try it and here i have to give some name and say ok so here it is printing but if you see here it did not record the adding of the text and click on ok button so that i have to do manually and of uh, here is some extra step recorded i will just remove this and i will stop recording and i will say ok and add the objects as well so here i have to do some manual editing so first thing is i will say verify alert present and i can give some time out and then after this i will add a delay of two seconds so this delay is not required in your case this is just so that you can see properly during play playback and now if i go to the keywords browser you can see 
we have set alert text keyword so I can use this so I can drag and drop it here set alert text and move this up so here I will say set alert text I can give any name here let us say I say Raghav and say ok and after this I also have to accept so I will again say a delay of 2 seconds and finally I will accept the alert so this is accept alert and again before it closes the browser I am going to add a delay of 3 seconds so that you can see the text on the screen so this is my test case now so you can see we are saying verify alert present then set alert text and then accept alert so these are the three main keywords required for adding text to the alert box and finally I will close the browser so let me run this and show you so it is running on a chrome browser and yes so it should add the name and then you should see and you can see it is saying hello Raghav how are you today so that means it was able to add the text now you can be uh, you can face some alerts which where it cannot be uh, you will not be able to do all these steps like very in a very straightforward way and you can just go to this URL so if I search for Catalon Studio how to handle JavaScript alert there is a link and let me show you some other options that you can use so here is how to handle alerts in Catalon Studio so I will just go here and there is this link as well so here you might also have to switch your window so for example if you go to the keywords browser and in the web UI keyword you have a windows section and sometimes you also have to switch to alert and you can use to switch to window index switch to window title or switch to URL all these keywords to switch to the alert and then perform the operation so if I go here so here we have this how to handle alert and there are some ways you can handle it and you can see all these methods so all this we have already learned so you can see uh, here also we have we can use something like this so we can get the alert and then we can say switch to alert and then we can say send keys something like this so we can also do this and we can get the alert message set the alert message like this so if I want to get the alert message I will also show you so here after I say verify alert present I will add another keyword I will say add and I will say get alert text and I will store it into a variable say output text or I will just say alert text so I can use this and if I go to the script mode you can see we are getting the alert text here and I will also print it out I will say print ln and I will say alert text is and plus alert text and save and run so this time it should also print the alert text and you can see this alert box and now this is done if I go to the console and I will see here so you can see alert text is please enter your name so sometimes you might have to get the alert text and then you can also verify the text so just in case you want to verify the text so you can go to this after this I will add verify match so here you can give the two values so for first thing is the actual text so this will come from the variable that we have used in our script which is alert text and you can 
compare it with any of your text so this of course will fail because what it should be comparing with is uh, the actual value is enter your name so this will fail so here I'll just say ok and this is how you can use it and there are, there are these examples as well and these examples here you can say switch to window title like this or switch to window index and then set a text I will also add all these URLs or links in the notes here so I will add it here and this as well and that's it so you can see these are the different keywords we have verify alert present wait for alert accept alert dismiss alert get alert text verify match and set alert text so we can use all these keywords and this is how we can handle alert pop-up boxes in Catalon studio I hope this session was useful for you thank you for watching